Hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog, to my channel. Today uh, we're going to be just taking a bit of a preview at this amplifier. This is a uh, NAP 140. Now I don't really know a lot about the amplifier. Um, this is another one of those from AliExpress uh, clones or you know copies. Okay, well that was more difficult than I expected. So yeah, so the difference is with this is look at these transistors. 2SC29922. Uh, I think they're all the same, yep. Sankin brand. And that's what I sort of like looked at on this and thought, oh yeah, that looks a bit different. You should take a peek at that. Take these bits out. Oh, let's have a little look. So we've got some little heat sinks here. We've got some, these are, I don't even know what package these would be called. Um, I'll put it up on the screen and can locate it. Uh, let's have a look then. So we've got two boards. Uh, looks all pretty good. Now before I go into too much of this, I think what I should do is um, bring it up on the screen so we can have a look at the product. What's that say there? Some note, I don't know. VB less than 350 millivolt, voltage base and emitter. What's it? On the base and emitter, less than 450 millivolt. Note, is that for me to take note of that? Let's see if there's anything in there. Before we go any further on this, let's just see, let's have a little look at the screen and just see what we can see written about it. So here we are, this is the, the package that I bought. And not exactly the cheapest. Uh, let's have a little look. This is £28. This is for the two, I believe this is, this is for the kit because these are all all kits uh, and that's what it's going to look like let me just put that one there so a bit of an idea of what the layout's like and what it's going to look like once it's built up all right let's see what it says let's see what it says about it oh, um, there we go uh, so this is the 2C2922 with Sanken's famous LAPT series transistor. All right. Uh, we got a supply voltage plus minus 40 volts. And I'd just like to say now that, um, yeah, I've invested in a couple of new power supplies there. So we can go plus minus up to 60 volts. And, uh, I have enough power to be able to do this now without having to keep going for different transformers and not quite getting the, 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 the correct recommended power. So let's just get past these. There's a whole bunch of things we're going to be seeing in these packs. And that's, there's a little bit of a showing you how to hook it up. Oh, they don't say anything else with it. Well, that's not very good. Oh, here we go. Right. So I'm going to click. I'm, I just want to find some information. So kit with kit with finished. No kit power tube. So that there. Uh, uh, 29. I suppose that's for the two of them. Just looking at the price here. Here we go. So we've got some things. The optional kit. Two channeling cord. Incorporating as parameters, size, plus minus 40 volts, output power 80 watts into 8 ohm. Is there any more information or is that it? Well, I'm pretty sure that when I buy, I always check for more information and there's normally more information there. Otherwise, I'm a little bit apprehensive on buying it. I'd like to know a little bit what I'm going to be looking for. All right then, well let's just say, um, let's 
specifications. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, no, it's not. Uh, Oh yeah, look at this look. This is so interesting. It says a two channel including high power tube imported 2SC2922. The original British machine also uses the same transistor as 2SC2922. I've got no way of checking that. I'm just going to take it as what they're saying to me is, you know, honest. Is there here? Yeah, this is I'm just looking to see if there's any extra information. Because so far what we got is copy and pasted. Everybody's doing the same thing. We've all got the same images. Yep, but there's no extra information. All right then. So well, this one's going to be a. This one we're just going to call it a um, a mystery. So there's there, there's no you know output uh, diagrams there for it. There's nothing like that. So, what we got here? I don't know if it's going to focus in here. Nope. Come on. There we go. You can have a look at that up if you want to look it up. Oh, more of these. Oh, it says Nichicon. Nice. Now what I did notice in the imageries was there was a bunch of these like round um, two kilovolt, but they don't have any here. I think they've, they've exchanged them out for these um, these sort of like film uh, capacitors, which is pretty good. Uh, I do like the they do look nice and coloured well. So you see sometimes on some of these things you're getting the, the colours are half fading off already or rubbed away. That's, that's never a really good sign, I don't think. So we're going to say that uh, most of this should be pretty okay then. I don't know what brand these are. they have got a brand on there. I'm trying to see myself. What's that? HXB. Mm. Don't know what else we got here. BC546s, nice. If they're, you know, good ones, like Philips ones or something, they should be pretty good. NCC5551s. All right, and a bunch of diodes. I presume these are uh, 148 ones or one IN4841s. By the looks of it, probably see on here actually what it's going to have there for those. Um, can't see it, it's not here. No. It's got big old, big old placings for them, considering how small those diodes are. But they are uh, IN4148, so I said 4841, didn't I? But I meant 4148. Okay. Well, this should be interesting because. I mean, I've never actually handled one of these before. I've never, um... So I don't actually know what package this actually be. It's nice, it's nice, and, well, nice and clean. Big. It's heavy, that is. Pretty, pretty darn heavy. It's quite nice. I like these extra little holes up there, if you can see behind. Uh, the extra holes at the back, you've got the two big ones, one each side, and the, the four around it. These ones aren't holes, but these these ones are. Yeah, and the, uh, the leads feel nice and stiff, nice and strong. So again, nice, and yeah, we've got a... Uh, they are pretty darn heavy. I can't believe how heavy they are. So, uh, but yes, this is uh, this is the next one. This is what we're going to be building up. I'll get this done over the next day or two and get a video up. So we don't have to wait too long to check it out. I do like these types of uh, these. I, I, I prefer these. You know, I'm not quite sure about these little things. 
I'm not sure the little tantalums or not. But they're quite cute, aren't they? Let's have a little look. See if we can see what it says on there. Three ninety. Yep. We've got a little uh, twenty-five turn pots. So I say it's a two oh two. Oh, yeah, two oh two. So that's a two two K pot. The two O and then the two represents another two O. So that's two K. Mm, we might have looked at this one already. I'm not sure what was that. Is that a two two four or something? Can't get it to. Ah, uh, two two one. So that's two hundred and twenty. Yeah, so, alright, so this is this is the next kit to build up, two channels, and um, these I believe are going to be for the, the smaller little transistors, not the um, not the T92, T92s like these, but for these, here we go, there should be four of these, you can get a heat sunk onto the, onto the board. Be generating a little bit of heat there. I'm not going to count everything, make sure it's everything. I'm just going to presume everything is there. And uh, yeah, oh, the five five fifty ones. Yeah, so that's it then. This is uh, this is the next package. This is the next kit build, and then we we'll, This saves me just having to like show you um, in the, the test video. Otherwise, it would just be way too long. So yeah, never done this before, never worked with these transistors, uh, never used them I should say. Um, mine are going to sit like this, just make it nice and easy for my heat sinks to go on. And I'll see if I can find up some more information, if I can I'll put it in this little space right here. And if I can't, um, we'll just get through to the end of the video. <laughs> All right then, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you got this far, and I hope you tune in again for the uh, the test of this once I've built it up. Bye for now.